ladies and gentlemen. Now, the U.S. population has not grown even prior to the current pandemic, and it has actually gotten worse. The Census Bureau only recorded 0.1%, which is the lowest on record growth in America since the beginning of the pandemic. Now, America was suffering from an opioid pandemic. It might as well be a pandemic because the yeah, the effects of the opioid plague is still hitting America hard. It's just that now CV is in the forefront and that has been pushed in the background, but it's still going strong. I have some audio from NPR. This is December 21st, 2021. COVID-19 pandemic drives U.S. population growth to record low. The number of U.S. residents grew by just 0.1% for the 12 months ended July 1st. By Paul Overberg. December 21st, 2021, 10.55 a.m. Eastern Time. America's population grew 0.1% this year the lowest rate on record, according to Census Bureau figures released Tuesday, that show how the pandemic is changing the country's demographic contours. The United States added just 393,000 people in the year that ended July 1st, including 148,000 more births than deaths, a surplus that has long supplied much of the nation's growth. The other component, which measures movement to and from abroad, grew by 245,000. It was the first year in which growth from births exceeding deaths fell below net arrivals from abroad, according to the Bureau. The new estimates offer a summary of the pandemic's fallout after its first year. Population growth had been slowing before the pandemic, but it had averaged more than 2 million a year over the last decade. As recently as 2016, the country grew by 2.3 million people. Birth rates have fallen steadily since the 2007-09 recession. Death rates had edged up, especially in states hit hardest by the opioid epidemic. And immigration dropped in recent years under policies set by former President Trump. 17 states lost population, led by New York, minus 1.6 percent, Illinois, minus 0.9 percent, and Hawaii, minus 0.7 percent. California, which recorded only its second decrease ever after logging its first last year, also dropped by 0.7 percent. The District of Columbia's population dropped 2.9%. More broadly, the Midwest lost 0.1% and the Northeast lost 0.6%. The West was essentially flat while the South gained 0.6%. Texas, the largest southern state, gained 1.1%. States that grew the most included Idaho, 2.9%, Utah, 1.7%, and Montana, 1.7%. The estimates themselves also were affected by the pandemic, which has delayed detailed 2020 census data on which the estimates would normally be based. Instead, the Bureau used limited 2020 census totals and other sources, such as birth and death certificates. The Bureau is required to publish the estimates each year to help state and local governments in budgeting and distributing aid. The estimates also underpin disease and death rates. Write to Paul Overberg at paul.overberg at wsj.com. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, but you know, like I said before, America was already in trouble with population and not only in America, but in the European countries and Australia, New Zealand, wherever these people are populated on this earth, they got a low birth rate and that has not gone away during the pandemic actually is getting worse. So once you fall below 2.1, There's no turning back. And the last time I did a story, they had recorded America at 1.7. So there's no turning back. This is not going to be reversed. And many of them know this. That's why you see them acting out. And even some of them will admit, oh, yeah, we know that's a problem. No, it's more than some problem. That's pretty astronomic when you are a part of a group and there is no growth whatsoever. And, you know, in the beginning, 
back in March 2020, I was even reading articles. Oh, maybe there'll be a baby boom. You know, now that everybody is locked down, there'll be probably a boom. You know, it, there is no boom. <laughs> okay, that boom never happened. We went through that lockdown and they even had to admit once everything opened back up, the population actually got worse during the lockdown. It did not get better. It did not create a baby boom, none of them things. And it won't, you know, even if they went through a second one, it's not going to create any big boom. If anything, uh, I did a story where the women 18 to 45, they are not even interested in having children. So if your women are indifferent to having children, then there's no coming back from this at all. And see, that's why there's such a big fight in this country over abortion, because many of them want to force these women's hands so they can have children. And it's just simply not going to happen. That is definitely a dream and not reality at all. So population actually slowed down, according to the Census Bureau and the United Nations. and they were at least expecting some growth, but there isn't any, y'all. European countries have also started shrinking. Germany, Poland, Portugal, Russia, China's population, all sinking. All of them. So, and it doesn't matter what part of North America, and and y'all, even Mexico is going through a population decline. And we know, I mean, Canada's population is like America, so we know what's going on there too. They're going through a population decline. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this. You know, first, they blame the opioid plague on this population decline and but you know they weren't having babies though you know and the same thing is happening now but they said now it's far worse please leave your comment and subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell and i'll see you on the next video peace family